Okay, here we're going to compare uh, the higher outdoor ambient. Let's look at the pressure. We're at 62.8 suction, 210.2 head. Super Eats 15.4 and Sub Cools 11.5. Okay, here we have an outdoor temperature of 54 and a half degrees. And let's look at what the temperature split is. Okay, there's my temperature split right there. Now, I've got 70, well, 72 degrees return air and supply air at 94. And of course, that's with that 54 and a half outdoor ambient. So it's a fairly high number. The duct temperature is low compared to gas furnaces, but it's pretty good for most heat pumps. Now let's take a look at what happens when we have a low outdoor ambient. Okay, let's look at the difference in performance in this machine. Now note we're at 34 degrees outside. That's evidence right here. Suction pressure is 44. Uh, head pressure is 173. Uh, super heat, you know, pretty low. Subcool's gone up a little bit. I grew about 12 before. Okay, at these lower temperatures, your compression ratio is getting farther apart. Note the head pressure is 174. Uh, instead of around 200. And of course, our suction pressure being uh, right now almost 45 instead of. Uh, 55 and 60 there's a, a large difference here because as the temperatures get wider I mean it's colder outside you're not going to move as much heat because the compressor essentially becomes smaller the higher the compression ratio the smaller the effective pumping of the compressor is so we have changed somewhat here and let's look at the temperature split across the core. Okay we're about 14 and a half. This is varies around quite a bit. It goes up to like 15 and down to 13 but uh, right now we're getting a split across that coil of somewhere between 13 and 15 degrees. It's like we got 16 right now and you can see Our return air temperature is 68 and our supply temperature is about 82 and a half. So we're running right now we're on about 14. 82 and a half is a pretty low temperature to be sending into somebody's house. It will heat the house because it's warmer than the return air at 67. However, it is going to feel cold to the customer. So, once you reach the lower 30s in your outdoor temperature, then you have a choice to make, or maybe your customer has a choice to make, on whether you should continue running the heat pump. Remember, the heat pump compression ratio is getting wider as the outdoor temperature drops, so you don't get as much heat. But a lot of pumps probably shouldn't be run much below about 30 degrees. And there will be guys who say that's not right, you should run them all the way to the bottom and so on. But that's my opinion. 